Hi, I'm MTG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we're going to be getting into some fun token go wide punch face strategies. But before we jump into that, I just want to say sorry that the last two videos I had had, I don't know, some weird camera focus issues. And I think it's because I changed up my lighting a bit, so my camera didn't know what the heck it was doing. And it looked fine until I was in like the export phase. And at that point, I didn't have any time to go back and fix stuff or re record things. So thank you all for bearing with me for that. And today, we're going to have a little bit of the older footage where some of that was happening, but the screen's like super small because of the gameplay. So hopefully it's not going to be terribly noticeable. But I just want to say thank you again to everyone who's been super supportive and really helpful for, I don't know, putting up with weird technical issues like that. So anyways, let's go check out the deck list and see you in a second. All right, here is the deck. And today we are playing King Darien. I don't know what that is. Roman numerals. I'm sorry. <laughs> 20 something extra large level three i don't know anyways <laughs> it's a uh, three cmc and other creatures you control get plus one plus one and if you pay five you can put a plus one plus one counter on king darian and create a one one white soldier creature token then if you sacrifice our buddy here you can create tokens you can whoa my brain broke uh <laughs> if you sacrifice our buddy Creature tokens you control gain hexproof and indestructible at the end of turn. So I thought this would be just a fun commander because one, uh, I love like the token go wide strategy, but also like with white and green, that's going to be pretty achievable for us just to ramp into a lot of cool stuff and then just I don't know make all the tokens and hit face. So was pretty hyped up because I got to throw in some cards that I really love to play with, like Torin's Fist of the Angels where you're going to be creating tokens whenever you cast a creature spell. We have Queen Alan Alanel of Rudik. And I really like this card. I did do like a deck tech video on this because I thought this would be an interesting commander. But I thought in this deck specifically, it would be really interesting to see how well they do because it synergizes, I think, pretty well with what the commander is looking to do. And basically, it's, it enters the battlefield with power and toughness equal to the number of creatures in control so ideally they'll come in big because this is a token deck and then if one or more creatures uh creature tokens would be created under your control those tokens plus a 1-1 white soldier creature token are created instead so we're just going to be like doubling up on those so the idea was like if we have stuff like rabble rousing or maya like we're going to have ways to just really generate a ton of tokens that if we can get to it have divine visitation out so those one ones turn into just four four angel tokens that we can beat our opponents down with and then i also wanted like a bit of like almost like an enchantress shell to this so we could really benefit from a lot of one the card draw that comes from just casting enchantments and using the enchantress shell but two it also has a lot of like sockets and stuff that allow us to create you know different tokens and have additional cool effects like that so i'm pretty excited to see like how punch face this deck is so, but, so i don't know it's, it's, that's it that's my deck explanation <laughs> so i'll see you up there <laughs> all right Kaza. i always want to call it Kaza. um i think this is a decent hand to start with Maybe I'm biased because it has the goodest of boys. I would not be offended if I was called offended. Wait. <laughs> ah, my brain's so sleepy. I would not be offended if you called me biased for loving this card so much. Just look at that. Witching well, don't get confused with it being a wishing well, cause it's here to witch you. Put down the plains instead of overgrown farmland, cause now there's a chance for that to enter untapped. Alright, forest, the goodest of puppers. Yeah. Oh, I guess if you don't know what this buddy does, they're 4 CMC, 
they have vigilance, and whenever you draw a card, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. So, probably gonna do like the peer into the abyss shenanigans. <gasps> Yes, Gaia's Blessing. I want all these other cards. Smothering Tithe, you can go. <gasps> what? Heck. Y'all saw this, right? The utter disrespect. Milling authority of consoles. What heck? And I was so excited to try this card. Rude. I'll never recover. Emotionally. Maybe financially. But definitely not emotionally. Oh. You know what I just realized I need to go back and add after this game? Brilliant restoration. Because I have a lot of enchanties. Bonk, bonk. Definitely sequence that totally wrong. Uh, go ahead and check out my hand, buddy. Yeah, watch these enchanties. They're gonna get you. We're gonna be so spooky. I always think duress is instant speed. What's the one that is instant? Is it thought sees? The one that they hit me with? No. So they went for the potential card draw there. Okay, okay. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. See this synergy? Oh, we are synergy and synergizing. You don't even know this synergy. Okay, grab a forest. In a plane, put the planes in the play. Then we'll drop that, and we'll attack. Huzzah! Resolve. Sad times. It's okay, we've been ramping like a mother hecker though. Buddy. What do you think you're doing? Playing magic? What do you think you're doing? You're probably leaving counter magic up to protect their their dude. Draw that card at least, even if they counter it. Oh no, they're just gaining light. Okay. attack. And then probably Boseju or do we want to do King Darren? That might make more sense. Okay. Bye Boseju. Man tower. We're not short of lands, at least. All right. And then we will swing in for some damage. Looks like I can cast that. Question is, do I want to? Uh, we will sacrifice. I guess our good pupper. I think I'm just gonna blow this up, even though it's kind of doing them a favor. Oops, bump my mic. I just maybe want to hold on to some of these tokens. And it'll at least cost them a bit before they can 
do more. They play their commander because they need one, two, three, six. Oh, never mind. They can definitely recast it. Bonk, bonk. Here's what I'm thinking. We sacrifice the commander. Take action. And then we can board wipe. Another token. And attack. Hopefully makes it tough for them to recast their commander. I don't think I've looked at this one either. That's the OG one. <gasps> it's really sweet. But I think this is what we want to do. GG's. I love these cards. These are some of my favorite cards. However, we don't have a white source and we only have two mana. So we're going to only... Ooh, BB. Not better, but at least we can look for a white source. Drop you. Oh, cool. And then we can ramp up to the third mana drop, at least with a uh, Sylvan Ranger. Okay, we'll grab the planes because we have a forest in hand. Yeah, we'll be able to ramp pretty easily here. So we'll drop this forest. Like I said before, Sylvan Ranger. Ranger. Uh, thinking... Maybe we want another planes here, just because uh, Maja needs a second one. A little second pip versus all of our white source stuff doesn't. Okay, let me hit another forest. Or, yeah, forest. Hurrah, so we'll just ramp. Keep ramping. Mm -hmm. Let's grab another forest. Oop, sweet. Let's attack. And then thinking, is they're playing blue. What is the candor? I probably should have read that. Ooh, I have literally never seen this card before. Uh, Unish Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. Flying Sphinx spells you cast cost two less to cast. And then whenever it or another Sphinx enters the battlefield in your control. Reveal the top four cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles and put one pile into your hand and the other into the graveyard. Interesting. They just played this. Okay. So they're leaving the Nas open. Let's put this down. I like the idea of taxing them if possible or for them to use their open mana on this. And then we can drop like Smothering Tithe or something. What do you think? Oh, let it resolve. Let's try Smothering Tithe now. Wait. Okay. Full attack. One damage bomb. Thinking Aya will be sweet to put into. This was kind of like our perfect start. We just need a little bit of card draw, but I think we'll be chill. Okay. Is that the combo piece? No, it's not. Okay. We'll put it on our buddy here. And then, oh, GG's. Is it? Is it? I'm joking, I know. <laughs> I do like how aggro the start could be. It's a little risky to keep. I'm just gonna do this. Fetch another. Oh my god, I should have fetched the planes. Well, already already starting off swell here, aren't I? Hopefully we do top deck another land. Okay, we will put this down as a planes. I should have grabbed a planes before. 
just messing up left and right over here. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Mm, I think I'm just gonna blow that up so that they have to spend another turn setting up. And then I can get Skeet Swarm, Forest, and this planes to put this down so that can't cast things on the turn. Okay, what does that do? Foot creatures have deals three damage to target. Okay. Ooh, almost did the thing. Okay, Skeet Swarm. Hopefully it resolves. Okay, then we'll put down this make a scuty cutie and put down you. Excellent. And pass thy turn. I do like the art for this a lot. Okay. Ooh, and they have the pretty lands. Look at all this. They're going all out. Okay. They're suspiciously passing the turn. Dropping you. Let's do this. Because I feel like they got counter magic up. Oh! GG's! Mm -hmm. I like this hand, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Might not be super good because I'm guessing we'll be wanting to like do super punchy stuff early on. But we do have like Mangara and Chalai, which I just think are great cards to have in your starting hand. Like it was Ward, and at the beginning, in step of a creature or planeswalker, an opponent controlled was dealt excess damage. Create a 4 4 red dragon creature with flying. Oh, that's tricky. I think I'm gonna actually put down Esper since this just puts it into your hand, and we have a decent amount of land in hand. will be a little tricky, huh? They're gonna have their commander down. We don't have any, like, spot removal to really deal with it right now. Okay. Put down Mangara. And obviously no attacks. Do need to get some card draw going here too. Nice. Mm, nice part about opportunistic dragon. Sadly, um, doesn't let you like control the artifact, but it's still really annoying for your opponent. We'll just put down Guardian Project. Kinda screwed unless we top deck like a board wipe. Instead. 
not quite lethal, but we'll be able to draw another card here. Okay, that's not gonna help us. Ooh, down to three. Okay, that's not gonna help. Uh, we'll drop these planes. We'll put commander down so we can draw a card. either Johnny the Great Hearted. Creatures you control at vigilance, you life, and put a counter on stuff. Okay. So we will do this forest, drop explorer, and then over on the farmland, and pass the turn. Lucian Sage is nice. Alright, I think we'll just go ahead. the turn. Yeah, five mana. I'm just blow up evolution sage now because that'll be a problem. down first. We'll just pass. I think Amaria's call will help be like a win con for us against this deck. the commander down. Hopefully that'll discourage them from attacking in on us. I think we'll have enough for a mirror. Let's call one. Nope. Need one more hand. 
but we can at least get rabble rousing down. And then what's the next step? We'll draw a card. Two cards. Maybe we'll just see what we draw. All the lands here. If they do attack, that does leave them up for a little bit of risk. Okay. Fine. All the vigilance right now. I think we'll let the six damage go through. Oh no, they've sequenced it wrong. I do that all the time. I do that all the time. Take the eleven here. Oof. Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least we're not short on mana. Up you. Up you. I think we're just gonna hold and then that way I can sacrifice Darien to like triple block that token. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So they'll attack with that, sacrifice King Darien. Just, I can throw everything in front of that 11-11. Okay.
Oof, gain some life back. Okay. Drop you. We will put you down to get some card draw. Oh, good. More land. How much is it? We want to put Darien down again. It would be nice to get like a, uh, that planner cleansing and then I get put it to the bottom when I did the hideaway. I need like a way to shuffle up our library so we can get it back. Or I wonder if it would have been better to like put it under here, attack, have the 10, and then heroic intervention probably would have been the smart way to play, but I was worried about like potentially losing our only answer if they blew up like rabble rousing. I'm also debating if we want a heroic intervention. So we can block everything that the uh block with everything under that. Yep. You 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 you, you. everything under it. If they have any sort of removal, we can respond with heroic intervention. a sad way to use our board white protection here, but we needed to. They can just make another one with Rin. At this point too, like farewell is not gonna help. Don't have any flyers. Well they only have one. They board wipe though, we are pretty in a sad spot. Okay, maybe I don't regret having a Maya under a rabble rousing. I think I keep accidentally calling her Maja, <laughs> but Maya uh, created Kitty. Okay. Good card. Proliferate. Yeah. That should be three. Oh, they paid three. Oh, proliferate. Go wide 
with her angels. We also need our angels. I think I'll just do it again. Um, no attacks. This is a grindy game. Oh man, I'm really lucky. Get that. They're on uh, enchantment. Wouldn't mind my own July here too. Oof. Drop you and think we'll attack with one, two at you so we can draw a card. You, you. Oh my god, we just keep drawing planes. Like, we're only drawing mana. <laughs> this is rough. Oh. And I just realized, is I think we can win the game. Next turn if we survive. One, two. There is a chance we can get there with the 15. Only thing is, I think we have to sacrifice the commander to survive this turn. Is what happens if they attack now with the whole board? Give my tokens indestructible. I don't think I can recast my commander necessarily. We'll see though. We'll see what we top deck. So they are going in. Uh, we will sack the commander again. Never seen this before. Just gotta keep doing this to stay alive. Okay. Oh, math. Let's put the 13. 
team. No, we need it. We'll put you in front of you, you in front of you, you in front of you, you here, you here, you there, you there. And might as well just put an extra thing in front of that. And you in front of that. Just in case. I think I blocked everything. Okay. We are good. I think I can do the Halo Fountain one potentially. Wait, did that not kill it? Oh my god, I messed up. Okay. Well, that happened. I'm really nervous here. Oh my god! Well, I hope you had fun watching. It was really funny. I was not expecting this commander to be as good as it was. And I think part of it was I didn't realize that it sacrificed. And maybe I just forgot when I was reading it that it gives uh, creature tokens you control hexproof and indestructible. Like when I was initially building this deck. So I was just like mostly trying to build into like the fact that it has like an anthem effect and just making tons of tokens to hit base but what was really crazy was just that ability to sacrifice you know king darian so that you can keep your board state protected so as far as like mvps go i usually don't like calling out like when the commanders are i what i feel like an mvp card there's times where like I just kind of started snowballing with making all those tokens and just having the ability to just keep it alive and the board state alive is insane. And the other part too is like, if I didn't have anything else to play, at least I felt like, okay, I can sacrifice like my commander and recast it. Uh, so that was just like a really nice loop to have. And then rabble rousing, I think was just such a huge critical component of this deck. And I, like honestly I think it's what led to some wins particularly so I love this card especially in this deck and again just a powerhouse of a card and I think my Maya was like a nice backup commander because of the anthem effect that they give but then also creating like 1-1 one, one human warrior creature tokens when the land enters the battlefield so that's really helpful as far as like maybe things to tweak about this deck would probably maybe take out like a land or two because I felt like I was getting just hella flooded out with just all the land and that was a bit frustrating. Maybe figuring out how to add in some more like direct removal and a couple more anthem effects. But overall I think like this is just a super punchy like if you don't want to spend a lot of time like grinding through a game like this is just a very like I want to get in some quick matches because the idea is for this deck to just win early game by just you know swarming the board with tokens hitting face and then calling it good so yeah maybe it's worth cutting some of the enchantressy type things I was trying to go for for more like anthem token focused things but 
overall I had a lot of fun with this deck and I would like to maybe do like a version of it either in paper or another version of it in historic brawl. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.